pocket. There you are, Grandpa. It's finished. It's wonderful. Looks just like Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. We love spending time at our beach at on the beach. And you can see the lighthouse from my bedroom window. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop. And here's Miss Smiley's Cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr Whoops' shop, where you can buy anything and everything. Everyone loves Sunny Sands. And today, all of Mum and Dad's friends in Sunny Sands had sent cards because it was their wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary! What do you think? Do you like it? It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. What a lovely surprise. And speaking of surprises... Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, it's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I'll treasure it. <laughs> I'm going to wear it all the time. I'll never take it off. Never, never, never. <laughs> oh, yes. Dad had just given Mum something to treasure forever. Dad went off to the bike shop. See you later. And Mum went into the garden to pick some flowers. She had a new hobby. Flower arranging. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then it's salsa dancing, then cake decorating, the ukulele, knitting, opera singing. So Mum was picking flowers, when suddenly... My necklace. Oh, it's gone. Oh, no. It didn't. It couldn't have. Oh. Mum, got my towel, got my swimming costume. It's time to go. Jemima was going to her first diving lesson. Look, I've even just Peter in his diving outfit. Peter was one of Jemima's favourite dolls. Mum was looking worried. What's the matter, Mum? I can't find my lovely necklace. I think it must have fallen in the pond. Oh, Mum. And you promised Dad you'd never take it off. Don't you worry. I'll find it for you. Oh, no, Grandpa, you mustn't. I don't want you ending up in the pond. Well, we'll have to look for it later. What am I going to tell Dad? Oh, how silly of me to lose it. Well, Jason, it seems to me that someone is going to have to dive into that pond and find the necklace. I knew what Grandpa was thinking. And what is it that gets us out of all kinds of trouble, eh? My shrinking cap. I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's magic shrinking cap. When he puts it on, he shrinks like this, and this, and this. Nobody else is allowed to see him. He gets up to all kinds of mischief. He can drive my toy car. He can fly my toy plane. Oh, yes. When Grandpa's wearing his shrinking cap, anything he gets into or onto will go. He can get into all sorts of very small places, like in the teapot, on the top shelf, in Beowulf's basket, under the floorboards. And sometimes he likes to get into my pocket. Oh, yes. I don't know what I'd do without my shrinking cap. Neither do I. Pass me, Peter. If I'm going diving for treasure, I'm going to need a wetsuit. I knew there was no stopping Grandpa, so I picked up Peter, but just then... The doorbell went. Oh, no. Who could that be? It was Great Aunt Loretta. I've come to cook a lovely meal for Mum and Dad oh. for their anniversary. Oh, but it looks like I need to clear up a bit first. What a mess! Oh, yes. Grandpa's sister had arrived. She makes really weird food, like sausage with sardine sauce. And she drinks green gloop. And 
she's always stubbing her toe. We have a pack of peas in the freezer that we always put on it. And she's often like this. Or like this. And she makes Grandpa feel like this. Oh, look at all this muck. And I'll have that old thing too. It's going in the bin. I don't know why you're so attached to it. You've had it forever. But Grace on the letter! No buts. It's a dirty, smelly old cat. And that is the right place for it. This was a disaster. But luckily, Grandpa had a plan. I'll get the diving gear off Peter. You go and get the cap. Now, this is what you'll do. Chris Oloretta? Mm, yes, what is it? Oh, these onions are making me cry. Um, Dad gave Mum a necklace for her anniversary, but she lost it. What? Already? Oh, typical. I think it might have got swept up and put into the bin. Well, you better have a look then, hadn't you? <laughs> Great Aunt Loretta was so busy blowing her nose that she'd forgotten about Grandpa's cap and I was able to rescue it. <laughs> well done, Jason. I'm ready. Now, once I'm small, these will just about fit me. Oi, Jason Mason. Now, Grandpa. I've had to clear all this up off the floor. Oh, I see. You fished it out the bin, did you? What are you doing? Get Give back to me. It's not yours, you, Grandpa. You know, you know, oh, that's it's my dirty old cap. Get back to me. My Grandpa gave me that cap. Well, now it's going in the dustbin outside. We couldn't let this happen. Ah! Luckily, Grandpa had an idea. I saw something move inside the bag. It must be a mouse. Ah! Help! Oh, oh, call me when you've got rid of it. I quickly got the cap out of the bin and handed it to Grandpa. I'm going swimming. Shrink, Grandpa, shrink. <laughs> and Grandpa was off. Now you know what he's like when he shrinks. He just wants to have fun. So he zoomed along the floor, climbed up the table leg, then ran along the shelf. Suit on. Soon Grandpa was dressed in Peter's diving clothes and was ready to jump. The good news was that Grandpa had finally got into the pond. The bad news was Dad had just come home. I'm home! Would you believe it? I've had a puncture. I didn't want Dad to spot Grandpa's snorkel. Don't come out yet, Grandpa, or Dad'll see you. What are you doing, Jason? Nothing. Mom and Jemima back yet? Not yet. Good. That'll give me time to fix this. Dad's always mending things, especially bikes, because he runs the bike shop in town. He fixes tyres and wheels. And chains. He's really good at fixing bikes. Where's Grandpa? Gone for a little lie down, has he? Grandpa was still under the water, but he couldn't stay there much longer. I needed to find a way to get Dad out of the garden. Then I remembered. Guess what, Dad? Great Aunt Loretta's upstairs and she's really upset. Oh no. Why? She thought there was a mouse in the rubbish, but there wasn't. I'll go up and see her. It's all right. You can come out now. Hurry, Grandpa. Quick as you can. Grandpa got back into his own clothes while Dad was upstairs with Great Aunt Loretta. He ran into the sitting room, took his cap off and was soon back to his normal size. Meanwhile, I put Peter's wetsuit back on him. Did you find it, Grandpa? Of course I found it. You're amazing. I couldn't have done it without you, though. Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly did a die. Oh, well done, Jemima. I'm going straight outside to try and find my necklace. No need. I said we'd find it, and we did. In the pond. <gasps> oh, Grandpa. 
You shouldn't have. Oh, thank you. Peter's all wet. Jason, I suppose you're going to tell me that he died for the necklace. Um, kind of. Later, we all sat down to eat Great Aunt Loretta's surprise anniversary meal. Fried egg and banana pasta with raw onion sprinkles. Come on, beat up! You're still wearing your necklace then? Oh yes, something to treasure forever. A bit like this, eh, Jason? with Uncle CJ and Grandpa was with me painting Gordon. Oh, he'll be as clean as a whistle after this coat of paint, Josh. Be like flying on a brand new seagull. Don't even think about it, Grandpa. <laughs> Great Aunt Loretta was in the kitchen with Auntie Jules. You better stay here, Mr. Peter Branch. Don't want you getting sucked up when I'm muck sucking. Great Aunt Loretta was helping today as a very important guest was staying. Suck up the muck, suck up the muck. The very important guest was Lady Prigsbottom. She'd come to stay because the builders were doing up her big pot house. Gilly! <laughs> Tandy <Tandy-bay. laughs> Oh, you haven't half brought some lovely stuff with you. <laughs> Look at all your bits and bobs. Oh, they're not bits and bobs. They're priceless antiques, and I brought them to keep them safe. Ah, they'll be safe as houses here with us. <laughs> now, don't mind me while I give you a bit of a going over. <laughs> mind you, <laughs> And again. <laughs> Lady Prigsbottom came and sat with me, Grandpa and Wolfie. I don't know how you put up with Loretta, I really don't. Oh, our heart's in the right place. Finished! All spick and span, Lady P. <laughs> it's Lady Prigsbottom, not Lady P. Great Aunt Loretta was polishing Auntie Jules's silver seaside ornaments. Oh, you're my favourite, you are. There we are, bright and shiny as a new pin. Disaster! Disaster! There's been a disaster! Disaster? What disaster? A precious piece of jewellery has gone! Gone? gone? My diamond necklace is worth millions, millions, I tell you! Yes, today we are going to solve the mystery of the missing millions. You, you were in there last. Where is it? Millie, I didn't touch it. Thief. Me? The thief? You calling me a thief? I won't stand for it. She was the last in there. She's taken the necklace. It's obvious. Come now, Loretta may be many things, but she's no thief. I'm going downstairs to talk to Jules. I don't know how this happened, Josh, but I'm going to find out. And the best way for me to catch a thief is if I'm small. <gasps> Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! Now, when Grandpa shrinks, he can run so fast you can't catch him. He can fly by helicopter. He can chop about in the Sunny Sands train. He can hide in really tiny places where you can't find him. And today was one of those days. Where have you gone, Grandpa? I'm here. <laughs> Quick, take me to Lady P's room. If the thief comes back, I'll catch him. Meanwhile, in the kitchen... Well, it's so it's hard. Hard. Shifty eyes! Yeah, no, there's nothing shifty about that. Calm down. Oh. Now, just calm down. <laughs> I'm going to the... Great-Aunt Loretta can't say the word toilet out loud because she thinks it's rude. Have you know I'm perfectly calm, but I will not remain here a moment longer if there's a thief in the house. I'm packing up and leaving. Wait! Get your I'd 
just put Grandpa into Lady Prigsbottom's room when she came steaming back upstairs. Please, don't try and stop me. I'm off. Oh, please don't be off. Loretta's is upset. You're upset. I suppose Grandpa's gone for a little lie down. I don't blame him. Oh, please, Lady Prigsbottom. I put Grandpa in the vase on the dressing table. Lady Prigsbottom was packing. She was about to see him. But he ducked down just in time. She was in such a hurry that she accidentally did this. She packed the vase. The vase that had Grandpa in it. Lady Prigsbottom, I'm, I'm sure we'll solve the mystery. No, I am not staying in a house with thieves and robbers. Auntie Jules gave up and Grandpa tried to escape. But then this happened. Just in time, Grandpa managed to scramble out of the suitcase. He jumped onto the floor and ran out of the door. It's no good. She's leaving. I can't persuade her. Just then, Grandpa ran in. And I was really pleased to see him. Grandpa, did you catch a thief? No, nobody came in. I picked him up, put him in my pocket, and we went downstairs to see what was the matter. It's gone! My lovely shiny beetle brooch, it's gone! I only went to the toilet and it's gone! Oh, I don't believe it, Loretta. Who could have taken it? While Auntie Jules and Great Aunt Loretta looked for the shiny beetle brooch, I put Grandpa down. Go and tell Lady P that someone else has had something taken. So off I went, and Grandpa jumped down onto the floor and made his way to Upsy Downsy without being seen. He pressed the button, and up he went. He arrived upstairs just as I did, and Lady Prigsbottom was leaving. Uh, Lady Prigsbottom, you're not the only one. Great Aunt Loretta's had something taken too. Her precious shiny beetle brooch. Her beetle brooch? She's not making it up. No. Lady Prigsbottom, we all want to get to the bottom of this mystery. There has to be an explanation. Oh, oh no! Oh, what's happening here? All my silver seaside ornaments all over the floor. What's the matter? Then she saw that one was missing. The little silver lighthouse. It's gone. Gone? gone? My necklace, your brooch, her lighthouse. I think we ought to all go downstairs, have a cup of tea and keep calm. There has to be an answer. So they all went downstairs together. And just then, I heard Grandpa calling me. Josh, I'm going to hide in here to see if the thief comes back for another ornament. You wait outside. I'll call you. Grandpa jumped out of Upsy Downsy and climbed up and up and up as high as he could to get a really good view of the thief. And sure enough, the thief came back. It flew right in through the window, grabbed a silver shell off the table, flew right out again. A bongle bird. I might have known. Josh! I rushed back in. It's a bongle bird. And you know how bongle birds like shiny things. I'm going after it. Right. Grandpa jumped down and ran out onto the balcony. Then he jumped onto Gordon and flew off to the meadow. I ran after him. <laughs> The bongle bird was sitting in the nest in the big nut tree. And when he saw Gordon flying towards him, he did this. And Grandpa landed in the nest. It's here, Josh. It's all here. We found the missing millions. Grandpa was just about to pass all the shiny things to me when the bongle bird went. And the bongle bird screeching brought the others running into What's the meadow. On? It's the bongle bird. Yes. And when the bongle bird heard this, he took off and oh. flew away. Oh, and there's his nest. Oh. oh, Josh. Did you frighten him out of his nest with Gordon? However, did you get him up so high? Good throw. And it's my guess 
the missing millions are in his nest. Auntie Jules was sure to find Grandpa. First, she handed me Gordon. Then, she put her hand in the nest and... Your necklace, Lady Prigsbottom. <laughs> Your silver shiny beetle oh, brooch, Loretta. Oh. And the little lighthouse. Oh! And the shell! Oh. Anything else? She was about to oh. see Grandpa. Just a bit of bongle bird shell. I'll show you. I guessed Grandpa was hiding in the eggshell. Never touch a bongle bird egg. It's really unlucky. Oh, we've had enough bad luck for one day. Quite. Uh, Louetta, uh, I'm sorry I called you a robber. And I'm glad you got your shiny beetle brooch back. It must be an old favourite. Come along. Let's all go inside and celebrate. Why not? <laughs> I just had one more thing to do. Jump, Grandpa. I put him down on the grass. Cut off quick. He came back to his normal size. Well done, Josh. I think we deserve to celebrate too, don't you? Of course. We did a great job. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least Lady P has calmed down and gone to unpack. Green gloop, Loretta. Yep. Oh, been for a little lie down, have we, Grandpa? <laughs> well, we solved the mystery without you. Where were you when I needed help? Oh, I just went for some fresh air. And how was it? Excellent. Excellent.